In this next segment, we share with you the story of Kang Sok Hee, who was the first Korean American to serve as mayor of a major U.S. city from the year 2008 until 2012. Now, Mayor Kang is currently the chair of the Korean Americans for Political Action, which is a non-partisan, non-profit member organization that seeks to promote the engagement of Korean Americans in U.S. politics. Mayor Kang, it's a pleasure to have you with us. It's a pleasure to be on, on your program. Thank you for having me. Right. Now, Mayor Kang, before we delve into your present life and work, perhaps we could start by walking back a few decades to your early life in the U.S. Now, I understand you immigrated there as an adult with your wife in search Born. of the American dream. Do tell us more about that. It's been a long journey. Uh, I came to the uh, United States uh, when I was 23. So that was about 45 years ago. I came with hopes and dreams, but barely with no money. So I really had to work hard, get myself established, learn the language. So that was a struggle that I, I had to experience uh, at the beginning. I could not get a job for about three months. So I was, I was really stressful. Uh, and also once, you know, uh, like three months later, I got a call from a company that wanted to talk to me about a job. I was so excited. I rushed it and went to the uh, interview. As we were talking, the gentleman was questioning and shaking their, his heads because this guy just came to the United States and looking for a job as a salesman. Uh, and it was just was, wasn't going very well. So I have to say something to make a, a determination. What I told them is, please give me three months opportunity. I will make sure that I'll prove it to you. So he smiled and he uh, put me on and I got hired. Right, and ultimately, Mayor Kang, you spent 15 years working there <laughs> at Circuit City, I uh, hear, before venturing into the field of politics. Now, what prompted this particular move? Well, there was a very special event that uh, you can't forget. 1992, uh, April 29. Matter of fact, this year celebrate, uh, commemorates 30 year anniversary of Saigu, uh, LA riots. I was watching TV that night and I witnessed something that I would never have imagined to happen in the land of freedom, land of opportunity, America. There was a looting, there was an arson, and people died. I saw more than 2,000 Korean-owned businesses just burned down to the ground. It's helpless to watch their lives gone away. And I felt a strong a justice, you know, didn't really happen uh, in this, you know, time of, uh, uh, time, time of the uh, time. So anyway, I started getting involved with the, uh, the Korean American community because you have to do something about this. So I joined uh, the Korean American Scholars Foundation. I joined, I served as a president of the uh, Democratic Committee and also served as a chairman of Korean American Coalition Orange County Division. And through that work, the Korean community saw me as a future leader. And I started kind of thinking about maybe I should run for public office. So I decided to run for a city council in Irvine, Orange County, California. I had no money, no name ID. All I had was a confidence and uh, hard work. I started walking door to door after walking 20,000 homes by myself, guess what? The people of Irvine embraced me as the first non-Caucasian Asian American city council member in the history of Irvine. And then I promoted, I, uh, I ran for re-election, won again in 2006, and in 2008 became the first Korean American mayor in a major U.S. city and I was reelected uh, with a 64.1% on my reelection in 2010. So I was termed out in 2012, and that was part of my long history and the involvement with the Korean American community. 
Right, and Mayor Kang, staying with that, so your journey from product seller, if I may, to political leader, staying with that, I hear you were able to apply the skills you learned in sales to dealing with people in politics. Tell us a bit about that. Absolutely, because it's all about customer service. What I learned during 15 years of my work at Circuit City, I learned how to take care of customers. I learned how to be patient. I learn how to earn credit from the customers. The same token when you serve a public, of, uh, public office, what you do is you serve the pleasure of each and every citizen of the city. So I feel grateful that I learned, I spent 15 years with my company that certainly helped me uh, grow my, all my skills of communication getting out, meeting people, and making sure that I listen and learn and respond to their request. So that was my success story. Right. And at present, Mayor Kang, you are the chair of the Korean Americans for Political Action. What was the background behind the birth of this particular entity you're associated with? The Korean community now is more than 2 million strong in the United States. We have come a long way, and this year commemorates 119 years of Korean American immigrant immigration in the U.S. However, over the last 20, 30 years, we had we needed a voice by voting for people. That's the only way we can we can call to action to asking for their support and also help to help our community as well. So therefore, I, when I look at it, the voting has been a challenge in our community, uh, Korean American, American community. And also we are very uh, passive in getting the issue out. For example, recently, as you know, there's been a lot of outcry of Asian hate. However, other communities are outspoken the Korean community is kind of quiet. So we needed to really build that confidence, build that infrastructure to really uh, you know, play in the mainstream to voice our opinion. When we vote, that becomes our voice. So that's the reason why this COPPA, Korean Americans for Political Action, this is the only national organization that speaks truth to the value, and also we embrace Korean Americans, whether you're Republicans or Democrats, we unite in making sure that we have our voice heard in this community. Right, so simply speaking then, Kappa seeks to advance involvement in US politics among Korean Americans. That being said, Mayor Kang, how successful have you been in promoting such engagement? Well, the, uh, we, Founded in 2020, which is during the year um, two years ago, we had five members of uh, Congress, actually the candidate who ran for Congress in 2020. Uh, we had um, uh, Michelle Park Steele, Young Kim, Andy Kim, and Marilyn Strickland, and David Kim. Out of five, we made the history of electing four Congress uh, members, members of Congress uh, in 2020, two Republicans and two Democrats. So this is the beginning of our uh, political empowerment. This is our power. If we can bring everybody together, really to, to advocate how we can advance in a political arena, we can make that happen. And this is the genesis of COPPA and we're going to support every each and every candidate who is wished to run for not only Congress, but also state, um, local, city council, school board, every level of uh, public uh, office. We want to continue to support whether they are Republicans or Democrats and using our resources to help them grow and succeed in the mainstream. That's our goal.
I see. Mayor Kang, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut our talk short because of lack of time, but it's been inspiring talking to you. Thank you so much for making the time to join us live at this hour. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much.